Hey everyone, it's Paul from Alexander and Knife Sharpening. It's Sunday, my favorite day to be in my shop because my shop's closed and I get caught up on any knife sharpening that I have left, but it also gives me a chance to play around with things that I want to do. And one of them is working and playing around with the new X-Tool S1 laser. So being that I am a knife sharpening shop, it kind of, one of the things I wanted to sell uh, are customized cutting boards. I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? I'm doing knives. Uh, cutting boards kind of goes well with that. So I am going to engrave today an acacia wood cutting board. And I bought these in bulk and they're pretty affordable. I'm going to engrave it with a logo uh, that I made for the one side of the board. And the other side can be used for like as a charcuterie board. And here is the design that I made. And I just want to show you guys this because it's, um, I actually did uh, change it. It's a little bit different than this one here. Let me, okay. Yeah, you can see I changed it. That was a, so we just updated that. So this is the design I'm going to put on the charcuterie board. And I'm sure a lot of you are probably like me might have been concerned with if you're thinking about a laser you might have some concerns with graphic design and are you going to be able to do graphic design and are you going to have to learn illustrator or uh you know adobe illustrator or some other program corel draw and that was my concern that you know i don't have i have a lot of photoshop experience i mentioned before but i don't have a lot of graphic design experience at all and I was afraid, you know, oh, this would be really cool to get into, but am I, am I going to have to spend tons of time learning how to design stuff? And what's really amazing is there's so many awesome, easy, licensable programs out there to build designs. And there's also really affordable places to go get stuff done by other people who are graphic designers for super affordable prices. And here's one I want to show you. So this is a program called Kittle. It's K-I-T-T-L. And Kittle is an AI generation program for graphic design, but it's super user friendly. So you can make all kinds of designs with stuff. And there's, there's pre-designed designs in here. And let me, I'll just kind of show you here, like, let's go into some of my projects, like, these are just little things I messed around with, you know, creating stuff. I, I punched into the AI. Uh, I, I asked it to do like a 1930s car, a 1940s car, a 50s car, a 60s car, an old gas station. And I think this was the 30s car. And then this was the 50s car. I remember that one. I asked it for to create me a line drawing of a gas station in the desert and look at this. It made this incredible little line drawing down here. I mean, it's it's really amazing stuff that you can do. Let me show you a couple others. So the other day I did uh, these coasters. I'm not sure if uh, I didn't post that yet, but I'll, I'll have to post this. So I made this coaster and I, I told it to make me a line drawing of the White House. And I mean, look at that. I mean, it's just amazing. I could never do that. I don't have the skills to do that. And then I went and found some fonts that I liked and and used this. And Kittle is really uh, an affordable program, too. I think it cost me about $129 a year. And for a pro-level account, they have a couple different levels of accounts. But it's so worth checking out if you want to do some graphic design. And let me show you something else I did with this while I have you here before we go into the cutting board. So I want to show you why this is super useful and even if you're uh not doing just laser engraving it can be useful for other stuff too i use this on my website i wanted to update my logo and do you guys see this right here so this knife and tool sharpening alxsharpen.com is my website i have a laser engraver down here and i made this whole new logo on Kittle in maybe 15 minutes. 
I designed that whole thing and put it on my website. So just, it's just super, super cool. It's very easy to do. They got some great tutorials to show you how to use it. And I just wanted to share that with you. So if you're concerned about graphic design, don't be overly concerned with it. It's super easy to do. Here's the other thing, Etsy. So I wanted these uh, split uh, monograms. And if you go on Etsy, there are lots of graphic designers that sell all kinds of designs. And look here, you can get, you know, here's some right here, these split monograms. And look at the prices. So you get the entire alphabet for $1.78. I bought like five of these from, I, I know I got some from uh, Clack Shack. I got some from Steve, um, Steve Makes Everything, uh, who's on YouTube. Both those guys are YouTube guys that I follow. And I, you know, went in and got stuff from their store because I like them and I follow their stuff. And I, I like sort of. I like to support other, you know, YouTube people too that I learn stuff from. But I mean, you can't beat the, I mean 299. So if you need something designed even for a client, you could go on here and you could even get someone to design you something. So most of these people are a lot of them are graphic designers and you can reach out to them and say, "Hey, I need this or I need that or could you make me this?" And they'll make it for you and usually at a very reasonable price. So I just wanted to share that with you. I'll show you one of my other. I did some axes uh, a few months back. So I needed a Boy Scout logo for a axe that I refurbished for somebody. And it was for Eagle Scouts. And the Eagle Scouts have their own badge. And I was able to buy this and license this Eagle Scout badge that someone made. And it was awesome. And it engraved beautifully. And so these are the kinds of things that you can use Etsy for. It's not just for selling goods, but it's also a great place to get, you know, things that you need. And a lot of these people are engaged in the same type of stuff we are, laser engraving and sharpening and making all kinds of cool stuff. So it's worth checking out. That's that. Just wanted to show you those. And uh, so let's get back to the Acacia board um, and, and get started there. I'm taking a little bit of a risk here. And what I'm going to do, typically you want to run a power test on things to make sure you get the correct engraving. I don't really want to waste a whole cutting board. So I'm going to try the wood coaster setting on this Acacia cutting board. Now, it might not work at all. And that's fine. If it does, if it looks like it's terrible or it's not the right setting, then I will go back and I will run a test, which will give me the best settings for it. But I figured let's throw caution to a win. Try the wood coaster one. If it's a little light, no problem. I can burn it a second time uh, or I can lower the power and kind of work. That's the one good thing with wood if you're engraving it. You can keep going over and making passes and passes. Now, if I over burn it uh, and do too much, that's not going to be helpful. But if you do it too light, you can just keep doing multiple passes and removing a little bit more until you get the depth of the engraving that, that you want and, um, and the color that you want. So we'll see what happens here. I picked the wood coaster setting and... Maybe it's going to work out. Maybe it won't. If it doesn't, no problem. We'll go back and we'll burn a uh, a test pattern and then go from there and, and, and redo it. But I figured, well, maybe this will be really close in the ballpark. Uh, this and we'll see what happens. So here we go. 40 watt laser. Uh, the settings for the coaster are 30 power, 150 speed at 80 lines per inch. I might want to up the 80 lines per inch a little bit. Let's try 100. So I'm going to make that one change. But everything else, I'm going to kind of leave that the same. And I'm hoping that we're, you know, I doubt we're overpowered here. But I got to be honest, I don't know anything about acacia wood other than, you know, it's a good wood for cutting boards, apparently. Uh, it's grains, kind of a, a medium grain uh, wood. I don't think it's real sappy. It's a it's a lighter color, but not you know not as light as some of like your basswoods and other stuff that you see. You know, in fact, let's take a look at that just for just out of curiosity. 
Let's see what the settings for a basswood panel is. So that would be 25 at 200 speed. So at 30 at 150 is what we were at for the coaster. I think that's assuming it's going to be a harder wood, a, a solid wood coaster. And power wise, I think that's pretty good. So yeah, I think we should hopefully be pretty safe with that setting on the wood coaster. So we're going to go with that. So let me show you uh, another cool feature of the X-Tool laser. So some lasers have a camera that's in the top and, and you see a picture and that's how you place the stuff on there. And other lasers have a focusing system and this has a focusing system and I really like it. What I do is I can move the laser around and depending on the shape, I can mark this shape in all different ways. Even if, if it happens to be arched or hollowed out, I can have it check the, 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 uh, height or the, uh, how shallow something is and it will adjust an engraving accordingly. Now this is just a flat object, so that's real easy, but it's not a perfect square. So I did a, I think it was a polygon setting and I took measurements from all the way around this. I'm not sure if you noticed on the computer, but cut a piece in you'll see it made an outline of that and helped me place this perfectly so we should be in the right spot i'm going to now close the safety lid and it looks like you can still see that looks good and we will get started so i'm going to hit start on the computer and then i have to hit the button on the front of the x tool and it will start i am gonna i have to come down here i want to close my vent going to my other laser because both my lasers vent out the same venting system and I've noticed before if I don't close that smoke will start to come out of my other laser my vacuum that sucks everything out of the shop and that's running and then this has its own fans too in the back and as this thing creates smoke it will pull it right out of the shop so let's see what happens I'm going to stay close by because uh I'm not sure what's going to happen with this wood. We do have our fire suppression system up top here, should there be a problem. But I'm not expecting one. I think uh, this coaster setting is probably pretty safe. So here we go. I'm hitting the button. And so far, it looks pretty good. Alrighty, so we're all done. That took 22 minutes. And look at that. We have a beautifully engraved acacia cutting board. It didn't overburn it. Now it looks, that looks just great. Oh, I'm really happy with that. And if you're wondering who Paul and Jennifer are, that's my wife and I. And, uh, we actually just celebrated our 20th wedding anniversary this year. And that is going to be an example for the shop. So a great gift, a great uh, upsell for the sharpening shop. And this is what the, it's a, a trencher board on one side. So they can use this for like charcuterie or cutting on. And they can use this side as just a decoration. They shouldn't really cut on the... Uh, the side with the decoration. So I'm going to treat this with some um, cutting board oil, mineral oil, and um, and that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. I will leave a link to these acacia cutting boards in the description of the video if you're interested in getting these. They uh, they come in a I think it's a 10 pack, and they were very affordable. And it's a nice little. It's about an eight by ten board. It's a really nice uh, charcuterie board size. And I think I will also attempt to do uh, a laser engraved map, which I've done a, a video on uh, for Slate. I think 
a laser engraved map on one of these might be really cool too. So we're going to have to give that a shot at some point. All right, everyone, have a great day. Thanks for checking out this video. If you haven't, please subscribe to my channel. And also I'll leave links to, I, I get a lot of questions about different things I use on my website, which is alxsharpen.com. In the four sharpeners section, I have all the tools and things that I use in my shop. So if you're uh, wondering about something, most of the things are in there. And if you don't see it in there, you can always uh, reach out and send me a message and I will tell you where I got that particular item. All right, everyone, have a great day. <music>